Hi there, welcome to the next video where I will show you how you can load the HTML data in Python. So in this series we have already seen the first three videos where we have seen how we can load the CSV data in the first video. In the second video we have seen the how we can load the Excel data and in the third video we have seen how we can load the JSON data and here on the fourth video we will see how we can load the HTML tables into the Python. So HTML data is generally present in the websites as you know and uh, many times they give you some meaningful information in a format of a table and that probably you want to access and get it inside the Python for doing the data analysis. So first thing that you need to do that uh, is importing or installing this libraries which is html5 lib and to do that you need to execute this command exclamation sign pip install html5 lib and it will automatically gather the information which it requires to install the library and install it in your system since i have already installed it i will not gonna do it again but if you ha don't have this library go ahead and execute this command after that, as usual, we will import the pandas library for doing any data analysis work. And uh, from pandas, we will import the read underscore HTML as well. And we will also import the HTML5 lib, lib to, to read the HTML data and to do that uh, processing which is required the communication. All right, so let's go ahead and execute this. And after that, here is a URL which uh, is giving you the information about uh, some mutual fund and if I show you here this is the same link and uh, here down here this is basically the table which I am trying to import about the different mutual funds which are mentioned over here so let's go ahead and uh, execute this to get store this URL into the URL object so I'll pressing, I'm pressing the shift enter and after that I am basically using this HTML read underscore HTML using this pd.io input output dot HTML dot read underscore HTML is basically the function and I'm passing this parameter URL which is containing this URL and this will have the table list that is present in this URL. So let's go ahead and execute this. It can take a couple of seconds based on how easy, you know, quick or slow the internet connection is. And after that, uh, let's see the table lists. So here it is showing you the information that it contains. And uh, this information is not in a good format or a readable format. So what we can do is, or usually, this is the first table uh, here. Otherwise, we could have seen some other information or some other table would be present. And we need to probably experiment this and see which table it is. So zero is indicating the first table. That means get the first table from this object. In which has basically contains all the information from this URL. So here we are accessing the first table and storing it into the MF underscore list, which is nothing but the mutual fund underscore list. And then we are basically seeing that list in the proper format. So let's go ahead and execute this and execute this piece. Now, as you can see, this list is coming over here properly uh, which one can read and then further perform the action now the exercise that i have for you is uh, you need to search a little bit how you can take the first raw data like this and create a column from this data set all right so how you can take this these rows and uh, put it over here in the column list well if you're not aware um, I think I have covered it 
in the CSV while I have shown you how you can specify the column names and things like that. So go and watch that video if you have not already watched that and uh, you may require a little bit of uh, searching and a little bit of work to basically remove this piece and put it over here. But I think uh, that's like what spending 30 minutes to to see how you really need to you know massage the data in the real world to get things in a proper order. Alright I'm leaving you with this exercise and that's pretty much all I have for you in this video.